Hi, good afternoon. Auntie Bole today is so happy that I'm able to come here today. The Godwara Sahib Sikh Temple. So there are so many new experiences you can learn. So let's just follow Auntie Bole. So this is the entrance of the temple. We have been running this program for the past 15 years. Oh, you are actually in the Gurdwara Sahib Johor Bahru. So, Gurdwara Sahib Johor Bahru is our Sikh temple. Sikh temple. Yes, the only Sikh temple we have for all the Pajabis in Johor Bahru. And uh, we have our sessions every day on uh, uh, Sunday. But uh, on Tuesday, the ladies have their session. So, today is Istri Satsang. Istri means ladies. Oh. So, Istri Satsang means congregation. So, Today is the Istri Sasa for our ladies here. And today we are continuing our celebrations with the Vasaki. What is Vasaki? Actually, I think many should know about this very special day for the sick, right? Okay. Yeah, this is indeed a very special day. Uh, our Vasaki actual date is 14th of April. Mm. So, what happened was that in 14th April 1699, our 1699, that's mm. where we start our Vasaki. On that day was our harvest festival. Mm. So we had a harvest festival on that day. So in uh, one way, it's a celebration for the harvest festival. But on this day, we also had our Guruji mm. uh, baptizing our six, five, six. So our Guru Gobind Singh Ji actually baptized five, six. At the five, six, we were all named Singh. So it was during at that time, the men we will call the sing and, and the woman as cause. Oh, yeah, sing yeah. and cause. So this makes it a special day. It was done in Anandapur Sahib in Punjab, in the northern Punjab. So that's where it all started from. So the third reason for having the Vasaki is that it's supposed to be our solar new year. Solar new year. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So one solar new year, one is the festival, harvest festival, and one is our Guru Gobind Singh baptizing all the five Sikhs making us into Khalsa. Khalsa means into six. So that's the reason why we have these celebrations. So you see, uh, like uh, we live in a multi-racial uh, yeah, yeah. country. So what happens is that our community is not very large. Mm. So we uh, narrow down our celebrations to the Gurdwara Sahib. Mm. So we have our celebrations in the Gurdwara Sahib. What happens is that on the 12th, we start our prayers. Our prayers with we start reading our Guru Granth Sahib. Our Guru Granth Sahib is our ultimate Guru. He's supposed to be our 11th Guru, Guru Granth Sahib. So we start reading on the 12th, 13th, and we complete it on the 14th. So during these three days, we read our holy book, our Guru Granth Sahib, without stop, without interference, continuously. 24 hours? Yes, oh. 24 hours. Uh, that is two nights and three days. Because uh, our Guru Granth Sahib is about 1400 pages, is it? Oh. So, yes, yes. So, then we do our prayers there. So, when we have the prayers, we have a lot of these priests coming to do all the hymns, songs, like what you can hear the ladies doing. But of yeah. course, the, the priest does a better version and uh -huh. more nice. And the yeah. ladies, you know how they are. They are just doing it's it. This food they, they enjoy the yes, music. And yes, yes. Correct. Hymns correct. To the Lord. So, yeah. uh, so then we have our hips. And then we have lots to eat, sweets and all that. And people come with colorful clothes to the Gurdwara. We really, really joy and fun. It's really, really, really very nice to see. Really uh, a sight to see. Because you know what? During Masaki, we have fun. Uh, all those Sikhs that are staying out of town, far away, they make it a point to come to the Gurdwara. 
Mm. And recently we have a lot of these uh, people coming from India, mm. you know, mm. foreigners. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, so they are more into it, you know. In fact, they come as a family. Mm. So everybody comes for the joy occasion. Yeah. yeah. And I know that it's just actually renovated not so long ago, right? Yeah. Yes. We after we actually did renovations over the last few months, we actually had the opening of the Gurdwara on the Vasaki day. Oh, uh, the Vasaki. after the renovations, you see. So all of us were really very excited. We want to see our Gurdwaras, a, a new Gurdwara I would say, rather. Because it has totally changed. So how many people actually one time let's say people come for uh, the uh, I, prayer? Yeah, I think at least uh, we can have about uh, 400 men and 400 women oh, easily, okay. no problem. So that means now, uh, okay, let's say they, they come. What is the actual day? Let's say a uh, Christian they come on, they go to church on Sunday. Where a Muslim is Friday. So what day is for the sick to come? Okay, to the, for yeah. the sick, uh, uh, previously, uh, previously, uh, we used to follow the government. We used to have it on Friday. Oh, because okay. Friday is supposed to be the holy day, everybody goes to temple and mm -hmm. mosque and all that. Mm -hmm. And we used to have it on Friday, but then after that, the school children changed to Sunday oh. holiday. <laughs> so just to accommodate everybody, so that everybody can come with the children and all that. We have our sessions on Sunday, but uh, we have various sessions. For example, Sunday is the where all the local people and all the others, they will come and have a function. We can have a wedding, a birthday, or something, pass away prayers. Mm -hmm. So we have it all on a Sunday. And then on the other, on Tuesday, the ladies have their session. Mm -hmm. So on Tuesdays, we have our session of, from Tuesday, 2 to, ah. to 4.30. The morning session starts from 9 to 11.30. Oh, Afternoon, yeah. uh, our session starts from 2 to 4.30. So ours is ladies. Mm -hmm. Then after that, on Wednesday, we have another session in the evening, 6.30 to 8.00. That is for everybody's good will, you know, we want everybody to, for the good of everybody. So we have it on Wednesday. But we are not limited, eh? we are not restricted to just these three days. But should you have to have a function on Sunday, we can have it. Because the priests are all here. Alright, I would like to tell you something about our dress code. It's good to come to the Gurdwara to wear a Punjabi suit with a scarf, with a sash. Just look now, as you can see, Auntie Bule wearing the scarf. She looked very feminine actually <laughs> with the scarf. She looked so Punjabi actually. That's how we wear it. All the Punjabis were wearing to make sure that our hair is covered oh. so that in respect for our Guruji. This is more important still when you go upstairs. Mm. Even downstairs we still carry on. We don't go back in there. But very, very much important when you go up there because our Guru Granth Sahib is there. That's our ultimate Guru. So there we have to make sure we cover our hair. Just like what Auntie Bully is doing, just like this. <laughs> thank, right you, thank you, thank you, thank yeah. uh, 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 you. Yeah. Vasaki is celebrated almost at the same level in every state in Malaysia. Uh -huh. See, we have our prayers in the Kordora, three days prayers. And then after that, we have plenty to eat and all that. Except for some temples, they go an extra mile, maybe we have some activities on religion or Sikhism and all that. They might have. And in some places, they might have some sports and all that, just in oh. conjunction with Vasaki, you see. And sometimes they have a dinner in conjunction with Vasaki. So it depends. But the basic is that all of us have prayers in the Gurdwara. That's Vasaki is a celebration. And it is a joyous occasion for all the Sikhs in the world. In fact, if you had uh, look into the Facebook, you'll find in Italy, they had a big uh, procession by the Sikhs. And of course in Punjab they do have also. But in Malaysia because of our limited uh, population of Sikhs, we uh, just we narrow down to the temple activities. Mm. And also maybe a little bit of some social activities as well in conjunction with Vasaki. It is a happy, happy occasion. Okay, we are proud to be Sikhs. We feel honored to be Sikhs because uh, our religion is very, very flexible. We are, we are not rigid in any way, so we have our celebrations uh, as and when we can. We always invite all the other people as well because we are in a multiracial country. We invite the Malays, the Indians, the Chinese, the Christians. Everybody can come to our Gurdwara and have meals and all that. So it kind of, uh, you see, you look into the generosity of our 
uh, Sikh population. It's like that. We have always been like that in any part of the world also. The Sikhs have always been very generous, they, especially when it comes to giving out food and all that. So when on this joyous occasion, definitely it makes it all the more merrier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, something I missed out just now. We also have uh, one day on Saturday where the youths have their day. It's called the Nojuan Satsang. Nojuan Satsang means the youngsters. They have their day too every Saturday. And they have their celebrate their prayers and of course celebrations that involve and all that. They do come to the Gurdwara and all that. It may not be on a very large scale, but they are there. We do have their participation in, in our society. That's good. Yeah. So they all come from there. So they all have, they come from the different different parts and have their way of uh, singing hips and all that and giving us talk for religion and all that, which we all enjoy listening. And we also have uh, quite a few of them that come from UK. There's uh, some groups that come from UK, youngsters, uh, and they do uh, the hips very well. And then all of us enjoy their presence here. Okay, our, our hymns, we call it Kirtan or Shabbat that we used to sing. We use harmonium and we use the tabla mostly. And of course, those uh, uh, things that make some music there, the other. And we just use the very basic, these are the basic things in all temples you will see from those days from last time until now. So we use this, we are not really uh, ex in Johabaru, we are not influenced by the Americans or anything like that. We do the very basic instrument, except it's the way you sing and the way you present your Shabbat is very important. It's very appealing to us. That's what we like. This prasad is after uh, is is a symbol uh, after the prayer. It has been blessed mm. and then given to everybody to eat the blessed food. Mm. You know? So it's made from ghee, flour, flour whole meat flour, atta flour, mm. and sugar and water. Mm. It's a blessing also, huh? Yeah. It's mm. a bless. Every time, anywhere you go after to Gurdwara, you will definitely have this. Mm. And this is blessed food. Mm. This one is our call, our Langar Hall. Langar Hall means a place where we sit down and have our food. So after our prayers, we will come here and have our food. And the food is made right there, the kitchen is right there. So everybody will prepare the food. And then when it comes to the ladies, we do it ourselves. Oh, okay. We do the most of the cooking ourselves. Some aunties are so good at it. So we have all kind of foods, like we have uh, rice, chapati, dal. And all the sweet meats you can think of, of course, tea, which uh, Pajamis must always have. And uh, that's it. And uh, all the other, whatever, you know, sometimes people like to come and uh, and uh, give a lot of food because it's their child's birthday or whatever it is. So they bring cakes and etc. Well. But we must remember it has all to be vegetarian. Oh, okay, all okay. our cakes and everything is made without the eggs. Okay. And our food has no eggs, nothing. So it's just veggie food. So this is the kitchen of our temple where the ladies will get together and do the cooking. So we cook our chapatis, we have to make chapatis, we have a hot plate. Mm. This is the smaller version of the hot plate. And when we have a larger kiraf, then we have a larger hot plate there. Oh. So there we can have about 8 to 10 ladies at one time standing there oh. and making chapatis. I so see. and then we just sit around here and you know you have to uh, the flour you have to roll out. Well, the flour we don't make manually. We have a machine to do it. Oh, machine! So the huh? machine will knead the dough. Mm. So the dough gets kneaded by the machine. Then we will sit here and all of us will get together, all sit around, 
Do the various various parts of making a chapati. You know the various parts. Yes, I love chapati. Yeah. <laughs> you have to mix the dough. You have to yeah. the dough. Then you have to cook it. Then you have to apply some ghee on it. Well, the different different stages of making a chapati. Yeah. Then have you have any our curries and all that? Is right. Ah. Yeah, we make our curries. Wow. And of course, uh, we use our own ingredients. Yeah. 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 Yeah.